All right, haves and have not fans, I hope everybody's doing well. Please take a moment to hit like, hit subscribe, click the bell notification icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel. And follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. This is video is going to be short, sweet, and to the point. Didn't, uh, I mean, not Benny has signed his death warrant. And it's not only because of the ass whooping he gave to uh, Sandy Malone, Mitch's brother, even though that's his freaking cousin. Um, this fool yet again refuses to listen to reason. Mitch said, Benny, don't go out anywhere. He even told Candace, like, hey, when Benny gets here, tell him don't go out, don't, don't do anything. Because he went to see Sandy in the hospital, and pretty much, you know, because they know about his, Mitch's lie, the young family isn't protected. So they need to lay low until they figure things out. This fool is on the phone with Rihanna. She's like, yeah, I'm drinking by myself. Well, you shouldn't be drinking alone. I ought to come over. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Text me your address. So this fool, Benny, is going to go over to Rihanna's. They probably want to have a good time. And then when Benny is outside, he's probably going to get attacked by the Malones, either gunned down, either just shot by Sandy himself. I don't know. But this could be the test that will prove whether or not Sandy is worthy of being a Malone because Vinny has been questioning his integrity as a Malone for quite a while, uh, given the fact that he ran out on um, Vinny and the other guys after Vinny shot the one officer in the police station. He didn't kill Wyatt when Vinny told him to do it. So it's just so many things that have happened where this could be his last chance. And given the fact that Sandy hates the black kid as it is and already is mad at Rihanna, and the fact that Benny whooped his ass, this will give Sandy even more fuel and motivation to kill Benny. So I feel like Benny not heeding the warnings of Mitch. Mitch warned his ass multiple times about borrowing money from the Malone family anyway. Benny did it, and look at all the trouble that got him into. Mitch just says, keep your ass at home. He decides to do it. And hell, wasn't it the one time where Hannah kicked out Benny because he wouldn't give the money back? And then he was sitting out on the stoop and Mitch told him to go back inside and he didn't do it. And he ended up getting stabbed by the, uh, what was the dude's name? The surgeon, the guy Jim sent after Benny to send him, give him a warning. So I would not be surprised if Sandy kills Benny. Now the test could be Sandy killing Benny himself. But we do know in that one scene of the trailer, there is a van driving by as a shootout. So I'm very curious to see what's going to happen here. Because remember, both Jim, once Jim finds out about the Malones lifting the protection, he could possibly arrange for Benny's death in general. So maybe Sandy does go after Benny, but Benny survives. But there is that one scene outside of her house where Rihanna's crying on the stoop. So it is possible that Benny does die. So I just feel like Benny, again, not listening to Mitch, leads to his death. And then that could have a chain reaction because Hannah could get word of this and then think Jim is the one that killed him. And then she goes over to the house and then him, Jim and Hannah have their final standoff. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I, th I think Benny's going to die at this point. He he's going to die. Uh, so let me know your thoughts. Uh, let's talk about it some more below. And if you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.